Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I, just, I hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, today is currently September 13th and it is around 6, 6 o'clock already. It's 6 o'clock in the evening time where I'm living. And it must be shocking, you know, to you guys, uh, whoever's watching. Um, that I actually managed to get another video up, you know, within the same month. The last two videos have been like a month apart. So, uh, I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on in my life since last Sunday. Um, I went to Walmart last Sunday, um, because I had to get my printer, which you guys, uh, obviously... Well, maybe not obviously, but uh, that I talked about in my last video. So, uh, while I was there, I got some leggings uh, from Terra and Sky. And I gotta say, like, I'm liking that brand so far. Um, they're comfy. Uh, they're soft. I actually have a two, um, like, they're not sweaters, but they're sort of like cardigans, but they're really long. And, um... They're also from Terra and Sky, and, you know, they're pretty comfy and pretty soft. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, I was really happy with the way the leggings, you know, fit and, uh, how, how nice they were. So I'm like, okay, well, my other three leggings that I have, um, how they all have holes in it. Um, I've worn them to death over, like, the last three years? It's been a while. Um, and so one's black, one's black with like white skulls on it, and the other one is black with like pumpkins and uh, like little ghosts on it. It was Halloween themed. They got all three uh, one year around Halloween. So uh, I, I've been wearing them to death. <laughs> and uh, two of them well, I mean, all three of them, but I know two of them got holes because uh, they got ripped on a nail. Because, uh, well, it doesn't really matter why, but um, they uh, got ripped up. And then the other one, I think, just was normal wear and tear. So, uh, I'm like, okay, well, since I like these new Terra and Sky ones, maybe I should, you know, get some more. So I went on to the Walmart app, you know, to see if they could, they apparently deliver now, which I didn't, I didn't realize they did that. And I went to like go to, you know, the checkout and they, the ones that I wanted in my size, um, were not, uh, available for delivery. So I'm like, well, crap, now I'm going to have to go back to the store. So, um, that's what I did today. Um, got some food for uh, dinner, and some more food for my lunches for work. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, I did realize, like, last Sunday, for whatever reason, I don't know why, it was a Monday. I think, I think it was maybe last Monday that I went. Um, I, when I went into Walmart, it was, like, really empty like not from people there was quite a few people there but like the shelves were just kind of bare in the um one clothing section i don't know what that was about everything just looked so grungy i don't know what's going on over there i don't know if they're like short staffed at my local walmart or or what but every, things just didn't look the best there but when you need something you need something so um since I knew these leggings were over at uh, my local Walmart, I had no choice but to go back. And so while I was there, like I said, I got some food for dinner. And I ended up having some chicken tenders with um, Alfredo pasta, like one of those Nor packages. And uh, some broccoli that I roasted in the oven. So uh, that was all pretty yummy um, but um, I did end up getting 
two more leggings. So I, I'll, I'll throw out the old three and then keep the the current three. And uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got two sweatshirts. Not sweaters, but sweatshirts. And one's in like in a... I don't want to say teal because I think it's darker than teal, but um, it's like a, it's more blue than green um, color. And then there's uh, uh, the purple one. It's not burgundy, but it's not like a, a dark purple either. It, it's, it, it's a weird color, but... Um, I had I had gotten something similar in that color the last time I was at Walmart, so I like it. Uh, the color, not the sweatshirt. I haven't worn it yet, but I got those two as well. And what else did I end up getting? Oh, like some other clothing items that you guys don't need to worry about. Um, but socks being one of them. Um, but I got all that, and it. Walmart was busy as usual and you got all these people like getting like huge amounts of freaking groceries and they have it like these like itty bitty little counter spaces for the cashiers and so like um like you only they could only put part of their grocery haul you know on the um the counter space and it was just taking forever and I don't know what was up with this one um, customer that was in front of me but they got like I don't know must have been at least 20 pounds of meat like I don't know what they're doing but they got a lot I mean I guess they could freeze it but uh, yeah that's what I was doing today just going to Walmart getting some food slightly judging the people in front of me about their uh, grocery hauls um, only because it was taking like a ton of time and I guess I could have gone to the self checkout thing but I always get kind of iffy when I have to like you know boop in the numbers you know when you have to weigh something and I got broccoli and a tomato so I don't know I just rather just the cashiers do it but then as soon as it was my turn to get up to the cashier, the cashier decided to leave for a few seconds to go get a drink. I don't know. But that means it took longer to get through than I wanted to. I mean, it's just petty stuff that I'm complaining about. But um, besides that, the trip was okay. It didn't take too awfully long despite how I'm, you know, uh, um, complaining about it taking so much time. <sighs> Silly problems, am I right? So, after that, I got home. Sorry, printer. I accidentally knocked it, knocked my hand into it. And I put my groceries away, then I started making dinner, and I ate my dinner. It's pretty good. And then... I decided since I put on all this freaking makeup, might as well do another video, right? So that's what uh, I decided to do, to give you guys an update about what I did today. Uh, I guess I sort of, if you guys are interested, I don't know if you guys are or not, don't know if anyone ever watch, even watched these videos, probably not, um, but uh, my job decided to go to, my primary job, decided to go to three 12 hour days and I would have four days off, but uh, I don't really like the idea because first of all like they're cutting my hours because 12 times 3 is like 36 and that's not 40 hours so I'm already getting, you know, uh, less money from that but then they're like oh well, we're gonna up the pay you know to sort of equal out you know uh what you were making you know to uh to this new amount but the new amount is still slightly lower than 
the old amount. But like every dollar counts, especially nowadays. So it's just like, hey, why are you doing this? So uh, because of them switching up my hours at my primary job, I have to. I had to ask my boss, you know, from my other, my second job at the grocery store to like, can I have like three days in a row off? He hasn't gotten back to me yet, so I don't know if he's gonna okay it or not. That was several days ago, but um, and I, I I had to pick up a another shift because I'm already like losing a day from my other job, my my second job, to accommodate this new schedule and so uh, now I have no days off before I used to have Wednesday evenings and then all of Sundays off now I don't have any days off from both jobs and I'm also adding like an hour each day that I'm working at my second job to make up the money you know that I'm losing from my first job it's just like <sighs> I'm irritated about the whole thing <laughs> But, what can you do? I'm so close to getting hired on uh, permanently at my primary job after a year, over a year, of waiting. And I don't want to, like, mess it up. So, seriously, like, what can I freaking do? But, that is what's going on in my life for this past week. Now that all that is out of the way, I thought maybe if you guys would like me to... Um, I'll, you know what's going on presently in my life, but how about I tell you a story about, uh, when I was younger. <laughs> and so I thought maybe I could tell you this, my recollections of my first memory. And so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> my first memory actually happened uh, when I was four years old and uh, I was at my grandmother's house and uh, I remember um, my grandmother had three doors to her house um, uh, one was the back door one was the front door and one was the side door and the side door uh, led directly uh, from her uh, driveway and then you had like to take like three steps up there was the door and then that door led directly to the kisses sorry about that what's that babes um led directly... okay sorry I'm back the dog needed to go to the bathroom uh so, uh, yeah, so I was uh, at my grandmother's house and the door, uh, the side door led directly into her kitchen. And so I remember uh, going through the, the side door and going into my grandmother's kitchen and I remember walking through it and there was a doorway that led to the dining room, the dining section, dining room, and to the left was... The doors to the back of the house and then to the right if you turned there was another doorway that led into the rest of the house um be in the living room and then there was uh like a bedroom a bathroom and another bedroom no, two bedrooms and a bathroom there was also a door uh in the dining room uh that led upstairs so there was, they had an attic which they converted into another bedroom so um Anyway, I went through that first archway into the dining room and I remember there was this long table that sat like six people. And uh, on that table um, was a cake. And that cake, uh, this so happened to be a Pocahontas cake. It was like a white icing and then there was like, you know, Pocahontas on there. It said, happy birthday, Angie. And uh, I... I guess they decided to get that cake because I was and am a big Disney fan. So uh, Pocahontas was one of my favorites. So um, I just remember that cake. And I think 
Well, I remember there being a picture of the cake somewhere. I don't know if we still have it or not, but uh, uh, th that was my very first memory of going into my grandmother's house to on my birthday to uh, have a birthday party, I guess, and uh, it just happened to be a Pocahontas cake. So, um, it was a very boring first memory, but <laughs> a first memory nonetheless. Um, I might, uh, tell you more stories about my childhood up until, you know, my current situation, if I feel so inclined. Um, my life is actually pretty boring. There's only like few things in my life that could be considered uh, exciting. <laughs> uh, one was about a go kart, and I'll, I guess I'll tell you guys about that some other time. But um, yeah, I think that is it for today. Uh, I just wanted to make another video and have it be within the same freaking month of you know my last one. Because I promised myself that, you know, I would try to, like, get one out at least every week, and I haven't been, like, really sticking to that. And I also, I've just been slacking with some things. Hopefully when this, uh, schedule change happens, um, uh, I'll have more time to focus on the house and, um, you know, some YouTube videos. We'll see how that goes. Knowing me, it's probably not going to go very well. I have a procrastination problem. So, I hope all of you have a good day. I hope all of you had a good weekend. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. And I will see you guys in the next video. And sorry about my dog barking. She wants to come back in. Um, so, thank you for watching. And I'll see ya. Bye.